part two of passaging from 15 mils to 5 mils at 30 degrees. All right, so this morning you had the exciting uh, adventure of watching me uh, fill tubes with liquid. Now I'll show you how we actually get the yeast into it. It's not much. Here's the setup. These are the tubes that the yeast is growing in. We're going to put them into these three tubes here. Uh, I'm not going to have you watch all 20 tubes or you'll be bored out of your mind. Um, and I'll show you some of the things that we, uh, we typically get and you'll get an idea of how this is supposed to work on an operation. So, the first thing we do is we have a tube. So I am up to number 13. See, I've labeled it on the top here. And there is a comparable label over here, even though it doesn't look terribly good. I've unscrewed the tops here so that I can get them out. And I've moved, these are all sealed. I've moved these to the forward, to the front, so that I know what I'm working on. Now, this is, and we'll also be showing you how the pipettes are different. So this is the stuff that's in there. We've got some bubbles, which is nice. Probably can't see it on this, but there's a lot of translucent stuff, which isn't good. Well, it's not that it's good, it's not yeast, but we need to get this thing entirely mixed up. And the way we do that is on a vortex mixer, which is over here. This doesn't have, this has some, you probably can't see it, but there's some mold-like stuff floating on the top. Well, we're gonna mix everything together. So we put it on this. And you can see how it's going all up and down, and when we stop, you see that everything is mixed in. Now, we're only going to put in 10 microliters, which is teeny tiny. There's a, that's what it looks like. And with that, Caroline is filming this for, for me. She is much, uh, she and her counterparts are much less clumsy than I am. <laughs> so what I do is I take this off and hold it so I can see it. I also want to get the thing down. This is already set. Let's see, I forgot to show you. It's set to, that is, 10 microliters. But Joe, it looks like 100. Looks like 100, but the zero is after the decimal point. So we can actually get down to 10.1, 10.2, uh, whatever. This goes from, this is a 20, so what does that go from? 2 to, two to 20, I think? Yep. Okay. So when I push down, I hold it like this, I push down on this, and that will only go so far. It'll be farther down if I put the number up. Won't be as far if I uh, don't. So I push it down, I put it into the solution uh, part way down, hopefully it's all up, and this is all we're getting out. You may not be able to see that. That's about, we'll just say half an inch long, maybe. Maybe. I seal it here because again I'm clumsy and I will forget to do it and I don't want to dunk it in. Now here is the tube that we're going to put it into. All I have to do is stick this down in, push hard, and it goes in. Also I immediately get rid of the pipette because I do not want to use that on another sample. Why not? Uh, it would contaminate it and if you have different kinds of yeast growing on different parts of the plants or different gatherings it wouldn't be good. So this is what it looks like. It has four milliliters of water, or a, a special, uh, special, yeast, special yeah. uh, growth solution in it. You may see some dots there, so we vortex this as well. Sorry, did I go too fast? No, it's all good. All right. And I'm going to, there we go. And now those 10 milliliters that you could barely see are all mixed in, and we hope they will grow. Okay, so that's the general procedure. I want to show you a couple of other things. This is kind of a typical one. We can see there's bubbles. This was mm, bark, I think. But the problem is, let me, I don't know if you can, can you see that, the, that it's not moving? There's some sort of growth at the top of it. It looks fairly disgusting. <laughs> so sometimes you can vortex it out. I move too fast on that? Probably. No, all good. All right, now that you see that it's, uh, that it's moving around, I was able to break that up. Sometimes you actually have to shake the tube to break it up. Again, we take the pipette. We want to keep the air away from this if we possibly can. I'm doing this wrong-handed. I unscrew it, push down, suck up, 
even though this is really brown here, you can't see it on the solution. This is tube number 14. So I'm over to tube number 14. Squirt it in. Get rid of the pipette so I don't reuse it. Seal it. And vortex it again. have so little. Uh, this morning I put in something that was just black and you couldn't see it after it was, uh, was in because the, it's uh, diluted so much. All right, the next tube, the last one I'm going to be uh, having you suffer through, is soil. Not dirt, soil. Soil has <laughs> living things in it, right? Yep. Okay. They've been training me for the last four weeks and I finally got it. Now this also has something on the top. Let's see if you can, if we do it, you see how nothing is going. So sometimes mechanically you break it up. There, I broke it up. That's down in there. It's really disgusting when you have to try to stick a pipette through it and probably leads to... It smells really bad. You actually smell these things? Sometimes. They're good enough. You're a good scientist. So here we're just going to mix it in so that all the dirt is up there and hopefully we've got, uh, hopefully we've randomized it so we'll get a good sample of the yeast so we don't have something living at the bottom that stays at the bottom. Push it down, put it in, bring it up. Here you can, you may be able to see that because uh, that is brown. We put the tube back Let's see how little here. solution is in the tip. Yep, so that's 10 microliters. 10 microliters, which is what? A, a little a bit. A hundredth of a... It's a hundredth of a Oh, I can't do math on camera. <laughs> Neither can I. But I'm a math teacher, you know. If you want, arith if you want arithmetic, get an accountant. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh, I'm going to hold this up so that you can actually see what it looks like. I put it in. I push down all the way. There's a little tiny bit of stuff floating around in there. Probably can't see it. I can see it just barely. It's diluting. I do want to cover this as quickly as possible so that we don't get any other contamination. There's lots of interesting things around here. Um, so it's there. We vortex it once more. Sorry, Carolyn, to move so fast. It's all good. And we put it here. So you can see it's sort of an assembly line. Um, Joe, where do the big tubes go? These guys ah, go. Ah, these guys, now that we're done with it. These were the ones that we did at 20 degrees. We put them in a bag. They are sealed tight. That's why I was sealing them so tight. And we keep these in the 4 degree refrigerator room mm -hmm. uh, just in case we need them again and don't have to grow them. We do have the original samples. We could regrow them. But these guys were grown, uh, were started on. Um, sometime around uh, July 4th, okay? Awesome. And we're just, we're just uh, transitioning, we're, excuse me, passaging them today. I feel like a... They're uh, passing like on. They're passing on. They're <laughs> going on to a greater good. Perfect. Thanks, Caroline.